Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to a market update. This is Spy. I called this yesterday, actually. Did a video last night after the close and saw the market would do this today. I predicted the market would gap up, which it did, and also rally and have a bullish day, which it's doing. How do I know how to do that? Because I know how to read trends, price action, and gaps. And I couldn't make this stuff up if I tried. I really, really couldn't. I kind of predicted this back like a week or two weeks ago because people kept trying to short this market. And every time people kept trying to short this market, they would be getting stopped out. Then they kept trying to short it again. Sometimes you just have to recognize when you're doing something that it's wrong to just lay off of it. It was never, this market was never a short. It hasn't been a short since the day it was born a long time ago. And it's a long, and this will continue here. There's no reason to consider that this will not continue here because we are not extended in the market. We're going to rally today. We're going to have a big day today. The market's going to power train all day. It's almost 12 o'clock, major reversal time, 187.25, 187.50. 188 today is not outside of the realm of possibility for the market, and every single pulling can be bought today in this bullish market. This market will close looking similar to this today, and it's not going to have a topping tail, and if it does, it's only going to be because it rallies up another $2 and does one, and I don't see that happening. I think the market's going to close looking like this or stronger today. This is solid buying. This is buying. It's real. Believe it. Believe it. Believe. Believe. Okay? Market's higher. Higher this year. Actually, I'm seeing this right now. This was a really nice gap here in the market. You could have actually bought this gap this morning into the open. We'll look at the one-minute chart. This actually could potentially be a entry to go long that could carry for a while here now. Look at this move. I'm seeing this now. Let me just look. I called the market long today for the room. I didn't do it, but I called it. It was on a five-minute, though. Let's look. Oh, my gosh. It's perfect. Wow. So here it is. That is pretty beautiful, people. 185.82. Stop would have been 69. Let's look at it. 185.82. Stop would have been 69. First run up uh, here, you would have had to get all out. I mean, I just don't see how you would have. Well, the target was 186.75 and the 187. So you would have, you would have gotten out of at least 80% of this, at least a half. 186.44, let's just see. Sixty-two cents. That was almost a five-hour trade. So here's the one that I called then. So you could have gotten here. Here's what I would have done: do this one here, do it aggressively, take it all the way up, get all out, write it back in here, get out half, do the odd, take it here. Here's the call I made, and then write it all the way up. And it hit the first target, went through it almost here immediately. <coughs> Excuse me. So really nice move in the spy today. It did exactly what it's supposed to do, and. In order to play it aggressively into the open there, you would have had to preempt what it was supposed to do. You would have had to know what it was supposed to do. That's why it's worth learning what something's supposed to do. Because when you know what something's supposed to do and then it does it, you can take the trade with conviction aggressively and with confidence. And you know that it's playing out the way it's supposed to. If you don't even know what something's supposed to do, then on the live day as a trader, you're trying to make haphazard decisions in real live time without actually knowing what something's supposed to be doing. You're kind of trying to read it in real live time and making assessments in live time, then missing the entries, not getting the right stop, not getting the right size, trying to figure it out. Do I go long? Do I go short? What do I do? If you know exactly what everything's supposed to do before it does it, and then it does it, you just trade it. It's very easy. But you do have to know what to do before something does it. That you do have to know how. Beautiful, beautiful market. Where do we go? 187. 15, nice little movement here in the SPY. So I have no idea what number we close on today. So I can't say exactly what's going to happen on Monday, but I love this market here doing exactly what it's supposed to do. We did actually have a beautiful move here this morning. You could have been aggressive with it, which was perfect. And the first trade of the day was almost five hours. And then the second trade was a good quality trade, too. You actually could have bought the market today. I did have conviction in this for a long. 
And I did not buy the market. I called it in the room, but I could have because I had conviction in it. So really nice market. I like to short. I did a short today and it worked. And it's because I know how to read weakness in charts. Great, great move here in the SPY. If you'd like more information on how to read gaps and charts in the market, email me at melissa at the stockswoosh.com. The next gap course is March 8th and 9th. Terrific move here in the spot today. Beautiful bullish market. Really, really nice. It's doing everything it's supposed to do. So do not short this market today under any circumstances. It is just higher until the close of business today. And we've got four hours left. Half day isn't even half over. Have a great weekend, everybody. If you'd like more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks.